Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO Harry Potter video. Now, this is a bit of a special one because I noticed when the pictures were revealed, I have seen so many comments and posts about a couple of things, and I wanted to address them and kind of defend their decisions slash show you what you could do yourselves if you wanted to, as well as just talk about some things that you might not know about the sets because there's a lot of misconceptions about them. So anyways, I thought that we would just do this fun little video. It's something special, and I had something that I mentioned in those videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at me changing the roof color from sand green to dark gray and the reason that a lot of people i think i wouldn't say are upset with this wave of harry potter sets but i think are a little bit let down are because the roofs don't match the rest of the castle and if you didn't know and if i didn't properly explain it in that video the reason that the roofs are actually sand green is because they are references to the classic sets because lego is actually celebrating 20 years of lego harry potter even if technically speaking it hasn't been 20 consistent years it's been 20 years since the lego harry potter theme started which i think is something really cool and i hope that is something that they do for other themes uh they've already overlooked a few but that's fine i again i think that it's fun it's it's a great idea and I personally like the green roofs. I like the idea that they are paying homage to those old sets. So I don't particularly have a problem with that. But then the idea was brought up. Well, what if I could actually go ahead and change the color of roofs to show you guys what they would look like? And I got to say, I think they look a lot better in dark gray just because it's what we've kind of grown accustomed to. So the first set that we're going to be looking at, because there's only two right now that actually have roofs. There's like two tiles or something like that on the back of the Polyjuice Potion set. But the sets that we're going to be looking at today are set number 76387, the Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter. And you can see it on screen now, what the box looks like and everything like that uh, with the sand green roofs and again it's it looks nice i i don't particularly have a problem with it but let me go ahead and change it for you on screen now to show you what it'll look like in dark gray and i've also gone ahead and i looked at what they've done in the past for the other harry potter sets that do connect already and they all have like recently the little cheese slope tiles there they actually stay sand green so i actually went back and re-added the color after already making them gray and then there's a couple of other things, like there's a few cone pieces that stay sand green. And also I went ahead and changed out the unicorn piece for the ski pole piece that they have in all of the other sets. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks. You can see what it looks like fully done here with the actual set photo itself. And I even did one of the interior. And I think that it looks really nice. Again, I, I'm really excited for these sets in general. And I think that changing the roof color is... It, it looks good in dark gray. And especially with this, since it's not like the one that we're about to look at. It's not a remake of a building we already have. I think it's important and a lot easier for this one specifically because all the parts exist to replace them in dark gray. But let's move on now to this next one. And this is set number 76389, the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. And wow, this was already my favorite. And I think that I actually do want to go out and make sure that I have the parts to change this to dark gray because it looks really cool, I think, in dark gray. It just looks like it'll fit in so well with the rest of the ones that we've already gotten. There's a ton of different sections. Like, the spot there underneath Dumbledore and Luna, like, the little trim there, it just looks, like, nice in dark gray, I think. Or even the top part of the tower and the roof there with the sand green cheese slopes. Unfortunately, though, those, like, drill pieces or whatever that is there, those don't exist in dark gray yet. So you'd have to swap those out. But that's really easy because there's cone pieces that already, like, it, that you could get that they've done in the past for the other Hogwarts builds. Uh, for the other sets but let's go ahead and let's turn it around so you can see what it looks like here in sand green and now i'm going to change it to dark gray again just kind of ties them together and makes them feel a lot more in line with the rest of the stuff even if the great hall is included in this i still think that you could clear that out and just make it like a hallway or something like that there's a lot that you could do with this 
I really like the dark gray roofs. I think I'm impartial to them just because I also just collected Harry Potter starting in 2018. So they really have a fond attachment to me. But anyways, that's what I did for that. But I'm not done talking about this because there's a huge misconception about these sets. These sets can, in fact, connect to the old sets. Now, I think that I maybe didn't make this clear in the video. I try to respond to every single comment on that video that people have been saying, man, do these connect? I wish they connected. They do. They really do. They actually have the exact same brick distance between the bricks that the other sets do. Four bricks between the technicals and the technicals will line up. So you can take these and actually put them in between. Of course, with the Chamber of Secrets, that's a little bit different where you would have like the rock next to like the hallways or whatever from the past sets. But that's just because we are building it on top of this, which you could go ahead and if you wanted to actually design rock pieces to go underneath your other ones from the past and kind of lift those up. Now you kind of just make like a giant wall or like you know what I mean when you put them all together because there's nothing like deep or anything like that with the great hall and you know you've got like a wall going in different angle they're all just going horizontally so I think that's a bit of a detriment to these sets but it's still cool that at the end of all of this this 20th anniversary wave you will have a complete Hogwarts castle but again they connect so you can mix and match and to be honest this is probably the best system for the Hogwarts castle that we've ever gotten like the roofs are completely separable all of the different like the tower can remove it's not like connected it's so great it just allows you to make your castle however you want and I hope that is something that they carry over into next year's eventual Hogwarts edition sets and things like that to come because I think it's super special I just think that even changing the roofs to dark gray just really adds something to it and I, I'm it's just something that I've wanted from the theme and now that seeing it here in dark gray it just gets me really excited I think to actually combine them with the sets that I currently have on display already but anyways everyone what are your thoughts on the Lego Harry Potter sets what do you think of the green roofs again I never collected those sets so they don't really mean anything to me just besides the fact that I always wanted Harry Potter sets in general so I'm really happy that I do have the chance now and you guys have put me in this position to actually get Harry Potter sets so thank you all so much um, unfortunately this isn't to sound like I'm ungrateful but I was left off the list to receive the Harry Potter summer 2021 sets early so I will be picking them up most likely on June the 1st and I'm trying to get my hands on the other pre-order ones from somewhere else here in Canada that should hopefully send them out early so fingers crossed about that but that doesn't mean that we won't have stuff to review here on the channel early. I was accidentally, to quote them, by mistake, put on the Creator 3-in-1 list. And honestly, those sets are incredible. So I'm really excited to be looking at those and the, doing the builds and everything. As well as we have video summer sets, which I think is a very solid wave. Which is a poll up on the community post right now if you want to go and vote and help decide what I'm going to take a look at first. But... Be sure to subscribe though nonetheless and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future Lego Harry Potter summer 2021 and fall 2021 set news and reviews because believe me, there's still some more Harry Potter stuff to come so you can check out a video linked at the end here talking about that as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy this and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.